guys welcome back guess what i received today in my mailbox rachel has decided to send me some orchids and look what uh, funny paper she used to write my delivery address okay let's open it together and see what i have inside she actually wrote me a letter oh my gosh rachel this card it's so so beautiful and it's with a cutlea cutlea are my favorite orchids okay let's read it dear anna maria i hope that everything arrives in one piece and that they do well and flourish under your care good luck with your new channel best wishes rachel oh wow rachel this is so nice from you thank you so so much this is like the best card i received ever this is going straight into a frame <laughs> thank you she packed them really nice in uh, some bubble wraps and that is nice because they have uh, saved quite a lot of time in the post office because the postman wasn't too nice and he didn't really want to knock on my door let's start with this one. Oh, these are the pleonies Okay, so the first orchid, it is a Pleione Formosana. Look how many she sent me. <laughs> okay, let's put all of them back and see what else I have inside. Next to the Pleione orchids was this miniature Dendrobium Jenkinsii. It is so small and cute. Let's see what I have here. This looks like a big baby. Okay, so this is a Catliante Blossom Bountney. The orchid looks very good. Okay, so let's continue. I have here plant number five. Okay, so this is a Aliesara Tahitian Dancer. The orchid, from what I can see, looks very good. It has some very plump pseudo bulbs, a few good roots, and I'm sure there are quite a lot of eyes there that will start to grow at any time now. I am very excited about this orchid. Rachel says her uh, Tahitian dancer it is fragrant, and I have uh, one more from Danny that it is not fragrant. I'm curious if it, my environment, at least one of them, will be fragrant. I will see. This is a Miltonia crossed with Binotii or Binotti. It looks very good. I have a lot of pseudo bulbs there and quite a lot of fruits. So I uh, am sure this one will even flower this season. This orchid, it is an absolute beauty. The flower, it is orange with a um, purple leaf. So I am really delighted that Rachel decided to share this one with me. I know what this is. This is a Cattleya Rex. This is a species Cattleya. It is a seedling. I think it's three or four years from becoming blooming size, but I'm alright with that. I had it before, but um, it came with a fungal infection and uh, it died soon after I got it. And I was really happy when um, Rachel said it. she has one for me. I have checked and uh, the orchid has quite a lot of good roots, so I'm not worried at all. Let's see what is this big baby, number 6. That is a Leilo Cattleya, yellow with magenta lip. She says it's scented. Seems a healthy plant, but never flowered for her. <laughs> I think I will do something about this one. It will stay outside in full sun. Well, not really full sun, it will be shaded by some trees, but yeah. Oh wow, I really didn't expect it to be such a big plant. It is almost a specimen size. I don't know why it didn't bloom. I hope the change in environment will trigger it blooming because I'm really curious to see it. It looks really, really healthy. I'm very happy. Okay, so the number 8 orchid, it is a Dendrobium lodigesi. 
Rachel had some troubles blooming this orchid because uh, her environment it is not that cold and um, in the winter time this orchid needs full sun and uh, in Ireland there is not much sun in winter time well in Romania it's not that much sun either but um, I am using artificial light in the winter time and uh, anyway my environment in the winter time it's much more colder so I hope this will uh, make this orchid bloom it is quite a healthy plant from what I can see it has quite a lot of canes and roots so I think it will do very good for me the plant number four it is an NCK hamburi it has quite a lot of pseudo bulbs and uh, some good roots there but the two back bulbs are rotten but I will remove them and the orchid will do very good I'm sure and the last orchid it is a Colmonara Catante Pacific Sunburst okay so my orchid has two pseudo bulbs that are very plump a few good roots and uh, I am sure it has uh, quite a lot of ice there that will start to grow so I am really happy about this one it is an orange orchid and I love orange orchids I, I don't remember if it's fragrant or not but uh, it makes uh, quite a nice show when it uh, blooms I hope now this orchid will finally decide to bloom for Rachel and for me as well okay so this was all found it useful hit that like button below and be sure to subscribe to my channel because i post new orchid videos every single monday and friday and sometimes even more often than that thank you for watching bye bye